Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you are keeping good. Now, I am going to share about phobia. Are you ready to listen? Let's begin with the meaning of phobia. If you ask anyone, they used to tell phobia as fear. Then why do we say phobia instead of saying fear? Yes. We have to understand it better. Phobia means irrational fear about a specific object, situation or activity and also it leads to persistent avoidance of the feared object, situation or activity. Yes, I repeat, phobia means just like, uh, just not like a fear, it is an irrational fear. Uh, now we will focus about the prevalence of uh, phobia. 5% of children and 16% of adolescents are suffering due to phobia worldwide. In India, it is 4.2%. In this slide, I have focused on the common types of phobia that is agoraphobia, social phobia, specific phobia. Irrational fear, of a, fear about any situation is known as agoraphobia. The same way, irrational fear about social interaction and activities are known as social phobia. And there are stimulus uh, is limited. So those uh, limited stimulus uh, irrational fear is known as specific phobia. These are the common types of specific phobia. They are zoophobia, algophobia, and agrophobia. Uh, so far, we have discussed about the meaning and its types. Now, we'll move on more towards the characteristics features of phobia. Usually, uh, phobia is considered as a disorder and a uh, mild mental illness. So, insight is present for the patient or individual. So, presence of the fear of an object, situation or activity will be there and the patient recognizes the fear as irrational and unjustified. But they are unable to control. Also, it leads to persistent avoidance. And the leading persistent and the continuous avoidance of an object, situation or activity will result in uh, later keep on uh, the individual become preoccupied with the, the phobia. So the persistent avoidance of an object, situation or activity will restrict the freedom of mobility of the individual. So this is known as phobic avoidance. Yes, if suppose someone is having fear, phobia, and then what can be done for that? Yes, they no need to suffer throughout, the, throughout their life. There are treatment facilities available, different types of treatment also available. First, we'll know about psychotherapy. In psychotherapy, supportive psychotherapy is administered by psychotherapist to overcome from phobia. And next comes cognitive behavior therapy. In cognitive behavior therapy, uh, it can be used to break the anxiety patterns uh, if it is properly planned. This mode of treatment is usually successful. Following are the few important techniques that is flooding, systematic desensitization, exposure and the relaxation techniques. These are the some of the techniques used in behavior modification therapy for overcoming phobia. And in medication, ultrasolum is considered as an antidepressant and anti-anxiety, antiphobic uh, properties. So usually uh, they prescribe anti, um, 
in medication a medication is available so we can also have medicines with this i hope you have un you have understood about me uh, about the meaning of phobia and its types clinical features with that i'll conclude